if the quadratic equation if the quadratic equation x squared minus k plus 1 x plus 4 k has two roots and the difference between the two roots is 1 find the value of k so here you have got two roots and the difference between the bigger root minus the smaller root is 1 so you know the quadrat you should know this quadratic formula or it should be given in your formula sheet the for formula goes like this x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay now from this you can write the two roots like this so that means x1 can be minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay and x2 x2 can be minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay so what are we saying which is the bigger root x1 or x2 you can pause the video and try to answer that question okay well this x1 is a bigger root because this is minus b plus something and here minus b minus something so one thing that you should understand is x1 is greater than x2 so what can you say what equation can you make using x1 and x2 well we know the difference between the root is 1 so I can say x1 minus x2 is 1 that is given okay so let's put x1 what is the value of x1 and what's the value of x2 so we can say minus b plus square root of uh, instead of okay let me write the whole thing b squared minus 4ac you can also write delta but let's write the whole thing over 2a minus so let me put this in the bracket big bracket minus minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a is equal to 1 so let's simplify this so if you simplify this you got you got the same denominator so you can go minus b plus plus square root of b squared minus 4ac And then you go to minus and minus, so that will become plus b. And then you go to minus and a minus, it will become plus again. Plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, because the common denominator is equal to 1. So what will get cancelled? Well, this is minus b and this is plus b. So those two can be get cancelled. So this is square root of b squared minus 4ac, this is plus square root of b squared minus 4ac. That is 2 times square root of b squared minus 4ac. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by 2a, that means I'll cross multiply. That is, say, that is equal to 1 times 2a. Okay, so now well, I can divide both sides by 2. I can divide this side by 2. So this two and this two gets cancelled so we can finish this off so this is this means square root of b squared minus 4ac is equal to a so now if you square both sides we can say 4 squared b squared not 4 squared b squared minus 4ac is equal to a squared so now let's let's put what is a b and c okay so what do we know a is 1 okay so let me write it here so you can write a you know a is 1 what is b b is uh, minus k plus 1 okay and c is 4k so let's put a b and c into this equation so we can say this becomes minus of k plus 1 the whole squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 4k 
is equal to a squared, which is 1, because a is 1, so it's 1 squared. Okay, so now this becomes, so this is same as, this is minus 1 squared, so this is basically k plus 1 squared, hmm? minus 16k is equal to 1. So if you expand this out, this is k plus 1 times k plus 1, which is k squared plus 2k plus 1 minus 16k is equal to 1. So you got a plus 1 here, or you, and you got a plus 1 here. So this and this gets cancelled. So you got k squared minus 14k is equal to 0. So what can you do? You can factor the k out. So k times k minus 14 is equal to 0. So k has to be 0, k can be 0, or k can be 14. Okay, so let's see whether it makes sense. Does this answer make sense? So let's go back. So let's write the equation. So the equation is, you have got x squared minus k plus 1 times x plus 4k is equal to 0. So if k is 0, suppose k is 0, if you put this into this equation, this is going to become x squared zero minus x, and this is going to be 0 is equal to 0. So if you factorize this, so this is x times x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0, or x equal to 1. So can you see one root, the difference between the root is 1. One root is 0, the other root is 1, so the difference between the roots is 1. So if you put, well, if you put k is equal to 14 into this, let me use a different color, so if you use 14 into this, this equation will change to what? x squared, uh, 14 plus 1, is minus 15k plus uh, 14 times 4 is 56 is equal to 0. Now the two factors of 56 which gives you minus 15 is 7 and 8. So this is x minus 7 times x minus 8 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 7, x is equal to 8. So here again the difference is 1. So your answer is right. Hooray!